I hope you're having an amazing day. My name is Colin and in this video we're going to have a look at Alphadex. Nothing in this video is financial advice, it is for entertainment purposes only. Alphadex is the ultimate crush chain, AMM, incubator and NFT launchpad powered by Moon River. What is Alphadex exactly? It's an innovative decentralized AMM, I have no idea what that means, incubator, yield farming and NFT launch solution powered by Moon River and Ethereum. Innovative cross-chain layer 2 scaling on Moon River, Ethereum and Kusama. Alphadex is partnered with the best in class technologies to help provide an unparalleled safe trading protocol and user experience. Well, that sounds quite cool. I did look at the app already and it, it looks quite impressive to be fair. It's like a little bit of everything. The main problem usually with these protocols is there's a little bit of everything. There's basically nothing. However, they have done quite a good start, it appears. And the actual token generation event, the listing, is coming up in the next two days. So in two days it will happen. That's why I'm covering it right now. We are nice and early. Some IDOs have already happened, but they raised the strategic rounds in November 2021. Venture capitals and strategic rounds commence. Then the Moon River DAX is already online. So this is not something that still has to be developed. Uh, there are some elements that do require that. However, in the actual short term, there are already a lot of assets available, which I will show you. Deployment and UI integration of DAX into Moon River, the Moon River DAX already live, IDO and public sales. Alpha DAX will launch in two IDO launch pads. Token generation event is scheduled in January 2022. The farming beta, yield farming and liquidity providing shadow staking build released for the tester community that's already live. Then the centralized exchange listing, NFT launchpad beta, fractional NFTs. Roar will list on a top tier centralized exchange. So this was originally scheduled for December 2021. So I assume this should be January 2022 as well right following the pattern maybe they made some adjustments here then the safana launchpad which is something where my main interest lies alphadex will release an all inter new integrated ido launchpad with auto listing onto the alphadex amm which i think uh, has my main interest for alphadex right the actual launch pads obviously i'm a launchpad fanatic i'm very much into the ido so i think this might be a great opportunity then there is some LP yield farming version two, new attractive LP staking and farming programs to assist in strengthening the alpha DEX AMM. DEX trader ROAR airdrop, unspecified quantity of ROAR to every AMM user that has completed a trade in June. And then there will be a token burn scheduled in August to commence with an attractive program to stimulate raw token value by burning an unspecified number of tokens. So obviously these amounts will have to come out of the tokenomics but um, in terms of unspecified quantity unspecified amount i would prefer that they announce how much that would be beforehand but it does make sense as they will just alter it to the current value of the token right which makes sense if the token is like very high they're not going to airdrop the same amount initially where they made the forecast specifically if we're talking six months in crypto that's like six years in regular business so probably that's why they say unspecified amounts which makes sense. When we look at the actual tokenomics, the development takes about 15%. Then the team and advisors takes 15%. I say that's quite normal. The liquidity in the ecosystem takes a large chunk of 34.5%. I don't know for a DEX and stuff, I assume the liquidity is very important. I don't know exactly how that works, but assuming that this goes well, community and marketing 20%. Public and launch pads 2.5%, and, and then private and strategic, that's where I'm at, on 10%, and then early contributors 3%. This is basically the seed rounds, right? Three seed, private, strategic, and then public and launch pads. I'm in the private and strategic one, the team. The Alphadex team combines a passion for the crypto sphere, industry expertise, development, marketing, stakeholder management. All right. There are some LinkedIn profiles linked, but it takes you to email which is not a really a good indication. Okay, so the CEO has his email linked and then all the other ones. So they have all their last names. This is also an email. This is also an email, Gabriela. This is the protocol founder. 
so he has alpha director of finance protocol founder alpha dex one year one month if you pull up the alpha dex company can we actually see the ceo as well aurora what's his name todd oh no this is just picking up dex so todd k the ceo is not actually with his linkedin which is kind of weird where the other ones are and you would assume if the ceo doesn't have it so they all work day jobs it appears they're not working on this full time which is also so here this guy is cto at alphadex he is working on it full time so either these linkedin profiles are not up to date or it's not really a full-time gig but the alphadex company doesn't really pull anything forward specifically regarding todd because i'm looking for todd as being the ceo i would like to see him first right oh here we go chief executive officer at alphadex but we can't see his profile it's private but this is him alphadex okay so they're all basically from australia and this guy the question is right is that the same guy as this guy they, they don't really look the same you can barely see it's so fucking small yeah but he looks kind of strange here and he looks like a regular australian guy here whatever the fuck that means right anyway all the other people are almost all there but yeah the team should be quite transparent some of them have their last name some don't the people who don't have their last name also don't have linkedin profiles kind of shady kind of weird i don't really care about partners whatever that means i care about the ceo primarily that should be fully transparent and it's not anyway moving on they have dutch crypto investors on board they have adinyana they have Halvings Capital, Moonwell, True PL. I think they also launched an Ignition Launchpad, so we'll definitely see that as well. Uh, but that's basically the entire overview that we have presented here. So, so far it makes sense, the team is just a little strange. What I care about most is that they have a working product and I would like to see how it works. So can I make some calculations without connecting my wallet? No, not yet. Swap, liquidity. When creating a pair, you are first the liquidity provider. The ratio of tokens you add will be set the price of the pool. Okay. Okay. So if I add one Moon River, I own 100% of the pool. And I can choose BUSD against Roar. I would own 100% of the pool. All right. Okay. So this is adding liquidity. So we can swap and add liquidity. We can go look for pools. Liquidity provider rewards. Liquidity providers earn 0.3% fee on all trades proportional to their share of the pool. Fees are added to the pool real time claim with your liquidity. All right, migrate, what does that mean? Migrate solar beam liquidity. Migrate your solar beam LP tokens to alpha dex LP tokens. Okay, it's like a bridge th thingy for farming. Note, harvesting will not work until the 29th of January. If you do harvest, you will not receive raw rewards until, okay. Ooh, okay, so they have some quite juicy APRs. So the rewards per day. So there, there's not that much staked yet. There's a lot of BUSD, <laughs> USDC staked, about half a million worth. Um, and it generates 3,730 raw per day with an APR of 62.54%. So you can add liquidity and you can see all the information there. Okay, step one, provide liquidity. Okay, approve to receive the tokens, approve and then deposit your alpha LP tokens and start earning harvest and unstake yeah okay so it's like basically like pancake swap i don't know that much about liquidity farming but it seems to be the exact same thing the best one how do we unfold this okay yeah oh you just need to click it again okay so the best one would be this one it's basically frax against rep moon river 
and then you got Red Moon River against USDC. Probably against a stable, I think, would make more sense. It's a little bit less risky. And this one has the highest one, but also has the highest uh, total value locked, right? Makes sense. BUSD against USDC, uh, you basically don't have any impermanent loss there, I assume. So those are the, all the farms. These are the static farms and then the ROAR farms. And the ROAR farms are your ROAR token. Now, what I would be curious about is what is the actual value of the ROAR token? Because that would make sense to, to make like a little calculation. But let, let's look at the launch pad, Savannah Idea launch pad. There are no pools yet. So the pools still need to be loaded there. And then there's a bridge, which takes you to any swap to basically swap uh, between the protocols, which makes sense. Okay, so the whole Alphadex app, it's working, right? There's uh, like different options available, but it is quite new. Look, there's some analytics here as well. Okay, that's cool. You can see the fees they have collected. So yeah, it's not really live yet until obviously the RAR token goes live, but liquidity has already been added quite significantly. I would say for a platform that ha isn't even live yet, there's like a, about just over 1.3 million locked, right? Or 1.5 million at this point. But the total volume is only $10,000 that they've done. Well, which makes sense, right? If the, the main token is not out there yet, the platform isn't officially launched yet, that still has to come, which is fine. All right, let's look at the medium, right? Because I was scrolling here earlier. So they, they've been talking about the Savannah Launchpad, which is quite interesting because that is my main, not my main focus, but my main point of interest, definitely, right? Which looks uh, looks quite good that they have the option to add that in, specifically because it's on Moon River, right? And if you know anything about Moon River, which I didn't know before, right? But I, I heard Alex Becker talk about it l many times before. Look at that huge rally. It has kept quite consistent. Now it's on the way down again to basically 73.8, 73.2 before its initial pump on after the launch, right? So as soon as that ecosystem recovers, or at least Bitcoin recovers, this ecosystem I assume will recover and we'll see great pumps there, which basically obviously moves itself as well into these side projects. Now, when we look at all the other announcements, there's not really that much going on. There is an airdrop, which is nice, but I'm not really participating in those kind of things. Uh, they did an IDO on Ignition Launchpad. We can actually check that in Ignition, Ignition Launchpad in a second. Ignition, Ignition. Okay. Paid Network Ignition, Alpha Dex launching in two days, round is closed, launch price 22 cents, right? So it's 20% at TGE, 40% in one month, then 40% in month two, your tokens will be airdropped to you. All right, so through an airdrop, there are some countries restricted from entering, uh, but this was basically already completed. So your best bet, I think True PNL is also doing this one. But I, maybe they have completed this as well. I haven't been too much up to date because I've been very busy lately. So obviously, I always try to bring you these projects super early. But this time, it wasn't possible. At least you're still on time for the launch. Let me see if I can find it. Alpha Dex, there it is. Ah, so it already happened like a month ago. But it was only uh, the vested sale for PL users. So definitely uh, uh, very much too late, six weeks too late on that one. So basically, as soon as it goes live, you have that opportunity to hop on board. The listing is on the 27th. Uh, definitely some huge potential here. I think it will take them, uh, they have the NFT launch, but they're quite ambitious in the different things. Uh, so you really have to make a choice. Either they're going to do great, just like pancake swap, spooky swap, or they're not going to accomplish much. I don't necessarily am a super big fan of Alphadex. I am a fan, however, of the Moon River Protocol and how that's all being developed. Uh, they already have the yield farms up, which I think is quite interesting and should uh, be able to be fruitful in the short, medium term, right? I'm not looking to make this my new favorite launchpad, but I am very much interested in potentially holding my tokens to get allocation but you just have to be a little bit patient with the current market conditions and obviously looking at the fact that they have not yet announced anything 
on this launch pad. So the Safana launch pad will launch in February, which is just a four week hold. With the current market conditions, I don't need to dump my tokens, right? Because I know for a fact, according to my own opinion, that they will be worth hopefully a lot more in the near future when the market market overall pulls back up to this original level where Bitcoin was sitting at between 50 to 60k. Right, so this is primarily what I'm focused on, the Savannah Launchpad. Alphadex launching in two days. Check it out if you like. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.